Now, y'all know that Corvette did not vote none. Y'all know he didn't want none of this Dodge Challenger whatsoever. Now, he was asking for I know he wanted it. He, he saw. I know what he saw, too. He saw these blue neon lights down there. He said, yeah, man, I already know what this is. Come on with it. Come on with it. He went on. He tried to line up beside me. And he, tried, he was trying to make some space and shit, but it just wasn't enough space. He wanted it, though. He want, he said, man, come on, man. Quit playing, man. Is that is that what I think it is, man? That ain't, come on, bro. Don't tell me you put the neon lights on that. That's what he was thinking. But, hey, man, I'm telling you, man, you don't want none of this Dodge Challenger. I'm telling you, man. Stop. Just because he in a Corvette, that don't mean nothing now. You know what it was. But, uh, anyways. What the hell we on? Day 12 unemployment, man. We on day 12 unemployment. Saturday night, man. Cruising. As always, man. Looking for something to eat, man. I figured I'd hit to the Sonic. I was trying to get the Taco Bell, but the line was so long. I'm finna dip back around back to Sonic. But, uh, man, yesterday, yesterday, what happened yesterday? I'm gonna tell y'all what happened yesterday. I got a story for y'all, boy. So I'm at the red light. It's probably about 8 o'clock. You know, I got the, got the blue lights on just like I do right now. You know, chilling at the red light. Now, I wasn't in this part of town, but the part of the town I was in, the roads were, it's basically the same road almost, but it was way more traffic. It was, it was way more traffic. But, uh, man, I come up to the red light, and there's two cars in front of me. Cars behind me, you know, it's traffic. Now, y'all done watched my videos in the past. Y'all know, y'all just, as a matter of fact, you know what, we finna take another detour. We're not gonna go to Sonic. We're not gonna go to Taco Bell. We finna get the $5, what is it, Little Caesars? And we finna take a big detour right there. Just come on up off the pizza and I'll be happy. Just come on up off the pizza. Forget the Sonic and the Taco Bell. We can cut the whole, we can cut, we can save some money right now. Just by going over here to Little Caesars. $5, yep. That's going to fill me up today and tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. So, you, you know, y'all watch my videos, man. My, my, my driving videos. Yeah, I know I'm always looking at my surroundings. I'm always trying to figure out, okay, is that the police? Yep, that's the police. Let me get in this lane. Let me get in that lane. I'm always doing that. There's reasons for it. But, yeah, but, but you, know, you know, I'm always looking is what I'm trying to tell you. And, you know, yesterday wasn't no different. You know, I'm at the red light. I'm looking. I'm, look, I'm looking around like this. Looking, just, damn, looking at my surroundings. <laughs> or so I thought. <laughs> I learned real fast. <laughs> so I thought. Anyways, I'm at the red light. It's two cars ahead of me, right? Two lanes, you know, cars on this side too. Plenty of cars behind me. We in traffic. Now, this light was probably red a good I want to say 30 seconds. Probably about 30 seconds, okay? So, you know, I got the radio blasting. I, you know, I just got the Wiz Khalifa put on here and shit. You know, radio blasting. You know, I ain't even, I ain't even worried about nothing. I ain't got no reason to be worried about nothing. Or so I thought I learned real fast. I'm going to tell you what happened. So the light is about to turn green. You know, nothing out the ordinary. You know, first the turn light come on, cars turning, shit, everybody turned to shit. I light about to turn green. I look in the uh, in the in the mirror over here in my rear view, I see an SUV flying up the middle of the lane. Trying to make I thought you trying to make the damn turn like, huh? <laughs> I learned real fast. <laughs> Man, the light turned green for us to go. SUV cut me the fuck off. I'm talking about argh, cut me off. Stop dead in front of me. The dude behind me turned the blue lights on. Yeah, turn. it was a cop behind me, undercover. Hit the blue lights. The SUV hit the blue lights. It was a cow on this side. They hit the blue lights. Everybody got out the damn car. And I'm like, damn, man, what the fuck going on with that? How, how did this happen like this? Anyways, the dude behind me, he come up to the door. He knocking on the window and shit. He got up here in less than a second, I want to say. He didn't run, but he was up here in less than a Before I could think about what the fuck was going on, he was already on the door. I like, so I let the window down and shit. He said, hey, man, let me see your license. Pull out my wallet. And I'm saying, open my wallet, get ready to give him his license. He said, hey, man, I, I, I see you got a gun license, man. You got any weapons on the car? I'm like, what did I even do? 
I mean, does it matter? Yeah, man, you got gun license. You supposed to do this? This? I, I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine, whatever. Maybe I do. Okay. So that, that probable cause, I suppose. That's the way he would put. Step out the car. I step out the car. He immediately pat me down. I, I only got half my body out the car, and he was already patting me the fuck down. So they pat me down. He tell me to go to the back of the car with the other officer. And the other officer asked me for my, uh, he pulled out his phone. He was asking for my uh, social security number and shit. The other officer, he just decided to dog, dive his ass on in here, start going through the car and shit. And I asked the officer, I said, man, what's going on, man? Everything all right? He said, yeah, man, we'll tell you in a minute, man, after I run your social security number. So, uh, you know, he ran this shit. Officer come out the car. And uh, he come back to the police house. He said, so, so, you know, what's going on? He said, yeah, man, this ain't that guy. He gives me back my license, and they immediately get back in their car and take the fuck off. Just like that. They didn't answer no questions. They didn't say nothing. All they said was, this ain't that guy. They jumped back in their cars and took the fuck off. Left me in the middle of the intersection like, what the fuck just happened? Literally, just in the, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all. So when I when I when I let the windows down like this, when he first knocked on the car, on his uh on his uh bulletproof vest, it said U.S. Marshals. So they was from the U.S. Marshal uh, Service. But uh, what I think happened was my bad. My phone said it ran out of uh, out of memory. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, man, like I was saying, man, the only thing that I could think of is whoever they was looking for uh, was driving, a, I guess, a Dodge Challenger just like mine. But they can't see through my windows at night because I got tinted windows. And then the fact that I ain't got no license plate on the back because of this uh, COVID-19, you know, I ain't got no plates whatsoever on this car. So tinted windows, black charger, blue lights underneath, no license plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stuck out like a sore thumb. A lot of y'all keep telling me, well, Andrew, they got Dodge Challenges all over the world. They don't got Dodge Challenges all over the world with blue neon lights, no license plates, and dark tinted windows. Quit fooling yourself, okay? But anyways, anyways, so that's what happened yesterday. And uh, I got out of there real fast, okay, real fast. It could have went, it could have went ugly. Could have went ugly, because I could have been one of them people, you know, Resisting, I was nah, man. You pulled me over. I tell me what you did. You know, tell me what I did first. You know, I ain't showing you nothing, nothing. Yeah, I could have been one of them people. You know, what I'm saying, did they would have, <laughs> did they would have turned bad fast. <laughs> but uh, hey, man, look. Hey, you know, I thought I was in trouble, but hey, got out of it just as fast as I got into it. Oh, and they didn't say nothing about the blue lights, by the way. I know actually a couple of police cars out of one by any no none of them uh pulled me over or nothing like that. Uh, I think it's one in front of me. I'm looking at not him right there, but the one up there. But uh yeah man, ain't nobody said nothing about the blue uh LEDs. I guess you can have them underneath the car. I guess that's fine as long as it's not like blue headlights or something. I mean I don't know the law whatsoever. I was just gonna wait for somebody to pull me over and let me, you know, know about the law, because I don't know. You know, I know about the tent law today because, like I said, I'm finna go and get 20% tent put on or a uh, black limo t uh, tent. Uh, you know, and then I found out real fast, you know, underneath 35% uh, is uh, illegal. But, uh, like I said, I still want that 20% tent because, man, it just looked good on the, on the muscle car, okay? But uh, enough about that. So... Y'all keep asking me about my truck. I know a lot of y'all didn't watch the YouTube story, so uh, I'll fill you in. So after uh, I left uh, Texas with that cooling leak, I went, I took it to the shop. They did the cooling rail at the top. You know, they looked over it. Basically, they said, you know, it wasn't nothing wrong with the cooling rail. It was the head gasket. So after they told me that, I ended up taking it to uh, my shop, Crow's Truck Service. Uh, I ended up taking it and dropping the truck off to uh, be looked at and examined, you know, and uh, diagnosed, tell me what's wrong with it. And uh, that's when they had told me, that, yeah, I do need a new head gasket. And also, it uh, dropped the liner also inside the engine. So uh, not necessarily a top engine rebuilt. You know, uh, only thing they, they need to do to get the truck back running is just resurface the heads and uh, put a new head gasket on and it'll be back working. But I can do a top engine rebuild. Or, 
I could uh, change the pistons or change the liners or just change the reins. You know, I, it don't necessarily need a top engine rebuild, but yeah, a top engine rebuild would help, I guess. But uh, because the bottom part of the engine is already rebuilt, they said, you know, more than likely, man, just resurface the heads and put a new head gasket on because the bottom of the engine is already rebuilt. So that's the situation. Oh, and by the way, I drove that truck. I, don't, I, I know y'all didn't probably see the YouTube stories, but I actually drove the truck to Crow's Truck Service. I don't think I still got them clips. They may have already expired off YouTube stories, but yeah, that's how that truck got up to Crow's. I got in the truck, started it up, and drove it over there with no problems. Okay, so they didn't go on like a record truck or nothing like that. But uh, as far as trucking go, man, not not in no rush whatsoever to get back. Matter of fact, um, if y'all look at my YouTube stories, paycheck review, I just got $1,500. Uh, sign-on bonus. It's, I've been at this carrier for it's the third quarter, what, 270 days, I believe. So they sent that 1500 over, no problem. I'm not in the hole whatsoever. So even though I ain't did no work in like one or two months, except a load or two, but yeah, I'm not in the hole whatsoever. Why? Because I'm not paying Pippin $800 a week. You know what I'm saying? The Dutchers are low, you know, and, uh, you know, it's just the truth of the matter. So I'm about to go down, goddammit. Corvette man over here said he wants some. I think he wants some. Oh shit, he lining up. What y'all think? He wants some too. He looking hard as a motherfucker, but go on, go. I, I got traffic in front of me. I can't, I can't destroy you right now, but goddamn, you know, he said he wants some. Hey, you know, he finna try to hit it on me. But it ain't enough space. He don't want none of this. He, see, he legal beside me because I know he wants some of this action. I know he wants some. But you can't get it right now because, because goddamn, I'm in the wrong spot at the wrong time. He said, fuck that. You got them neon lights on? He said, fuck all that. He said, you going to get to work today, goddammit. <laughs> he said, you going to get to work right now. <laughs> Oh, shit. I can't I can't do nothing right now man hit me up tomorrow hit me up tomorrow tomorrow we can race